All right, well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Salty Badger. Bit of an impromptu session here because I uh, had an appointment this morning after booking a day off to get some stuff done with the family. Took a lot less time than expected. Uh, a positive outcome to all, so congratulations to the uh, Salty Badger family. Um, so I'm out here just for a couple of hours. Uh, no plan today. Just gonna get out there, see what the conditions are like and uh, see what we can get ourselves onto. Uh, Maybe kingfish, maybe snapper, who knows? Anyway, uh, just gonna get out there for a couple of hours before we uh, go out for a meal tonight to celebrate. What a great day. Hopefully it's gonna be good for the fishing too. Well, let's get out there, see you later. Well, the bait fishing started, but it's not what I expected it to be. I thought that would be a little yucca, but it's not. But, little bait fish, it'll go in the, it'll go in the tank for the time being anyway. A little yucca, that's what we thought they'd be. Well, the little homemade sabiki rig seems to be performing quite well. Not bad at all. Much cheaper than store-bought, probably last a little while longer too. We're really giving that uh, electric motor out the front to run for its money in these conditions. It's got pretty sloppy. Let's see how it handles it. I think I might be looking for some calmer waters here. This isn't much fun here. I think we're gonna pull the pin on this one pretty early. Fish on. It's going to need to move out the way a little bit because we're uh, heading towards the rocks here. Let's just give us a bit of space. Hopefully he'll stay on. See what we got. Taking a bit of a run then. I think he might have come off actually, unless he's running towards me. Maybe. Yeah, I think he's still on. I think. Yeah, a bit of weight there now. Huh? I might have lost this. Oh, he's coming straight towards me, he's coming straight towards me. 
a little bonito or something. Tiniest of bonito, look at that. Tiny fish, tiny bonito. Great bait though. Yeah, a little bonito. Hopefully I got that in the film. All right, I'll stick him in the live bait tank for now. He can stay in there for a bit. All right, so I've kind of spot locked here on the south side of uh, the islands here, the Port Kembla. Get a little bit of relief from the wind. Um, set up a bit of a burly trail so we've got something going. Um, had a couple of quick hits. Uh, I didn't have the camera on, no fish landed. But uh, giving this soft plastic a twitch, and I have a bait on that rod there straight down towards the bottom just a yakka let's get in a couple of touches i'm gonna get a bit of a bend on it see if something's gonna take it yep i think that might be in here we go, let's see what we've got here. It's only a very light rod and reel setup. Oh, it could have been the bottom, or I don't know that it was the bottom. I'll bust off. Hmm, could have been the bottom. Get that slightly off the bottom. Give this plastic another couple of chances before we swap it out with something else. And this plastic that I've got on here was actually really good with a kingfish on our last outing. A little uh, green and orange savage for like a, a shad i suppose give this another couple of casts so it goes just see if i'm still holding where we were The motor guide's doing his job beautifully, keeping us exactly where we want to be, keeping us nice and safe. Here we go. Something on the bait rod there. See if he's still there. He is. There's nothing much of size. I don't think this is a very lightweight rod. So it's going to be nothing special. And it's our old mate, the Sydney rock cod. Let's just give him. Woohoo! It's not a bit lively out here. Let's get that hook out of him. Circle hook. They pretty much hook themselves with a circle hook. No need to strike. There you go, a little red rock cod. He can go back. Time to change up the plastic, I think. Give it a good few casts. We'll try a different shape, a different colour. See if that helps. So, the one I'm going to try now is the Missing at Sea 
death baits. Now, I got these free, per se, not exactly free, because I bought a load of jigs and they send you these uh, as a sort of promotional pack free. Uh, let's give these a go, see what they're like. I've had one on before. I have caught fish with it. So let's try this today, see how it goes. You can see these are a five inch death shad with a paddle tail. So chuck one of these out, see how it goes. Yep, seems to swim pretty nice. Give that one a go. Let's give this a reel in. This was having some inquiries, so I might have been baited. Yup, baited. I felt like I just got a very small take on the soft plastic, so we'll just stay here. I've just moved spots a little bit, moved about another 150, 200 metres down back towards the bottom of Big Island. Let's see, uh, see if there's anything around here. sure if that's a fish or whether it's a little bit of weed or something. If it's a fish, it's a dead weight. Oh, it's a fish. Just, just suddenly decided it's hooked. Okay, all right, let's see what this is. It's nothing too big. Again, I think it might be an unwanted species. We'll see when we get it up. Not been too lucky with the snapper and stuff as of late, so highly unlikely to be a snapper. It's my old mate. <laughs> my trusty old friend, the Sergeant Baker, who's just let go at the edge of the boat. So, <laughs> another Baker. fish but I'll guarantee you it's another baker because it's just got that kind of swim up to your feel or it's another rock cod but it just isn't putting up any kind of fight at all just a dead weight so it's a rock cod Tiny to rock cuts. Another rock cut. <laughs> Mate, give me a break, eh? Oh, it's 2.30. I think the wind's picking up a little bit. I'm going to give this maybe another half an hour. Um, if uh, nothing major bites, then I'm heading back in. I'm sheltered here, but what worries me is moving north side of the islands, I'm going to cop the wind. So uh, I don't want to, uh, for it to get too much worse than it is here now. All good at the moment. Not, not sure what we've got here on the catchy rig. Again, it's just nothing but a dead weight. So, oh, I hate these things. I've got another eel. Oh my God, I don't even want to get this on board. These are a nightmare. They screw up everything. Far out. Look what he's done already. 
Oh, mate. These things are an absolute pest. The best thing I can do is cut the line and then try and untangle him because he's knotted up big style. All right. Mate, you are a nightmare. You can't even get hold of them. They're impossible. He's all caught up in the lines. He's doing a death roll. Back out again. Right, he's off the hooks, which is great news. Now I've just got to make sure he doesn't bite me because he's a spastic. Right, let's got that hook out. Now he's biting himself. He is, he's biting himself. Is that angry? He's biting himself. Now, if I can get him in this, don't go in the, so, oh. right. Now he's gone in the bilge. Brilliant. I ain't never getting him out of there. Probably. You ain't coming out of there, are you? The only way I could get him was to get him on the lip grips and look at him, trying to bite anything. You are a menace and I hope I never catch one of you again, but I know I will. Right, go away. Get, get off. What a nightmare. Bloody things they are. Well, it's 20 to three. The eel's completely mounted that set up, so I'm not gonna bother setting up again. I think I'm gonna pull up stumps and call it a day. Another day out on the water, uh, not exactly the most spectacular fish caught, but again, catching fish. So I uh, want to thank everybody who watches these videos. Um, and please don't forget, if you do like what you see, please like and subscribe. I know it's the same old thing, people say it all the time, but it does make a difference. You get a few likes and suddenly, you know, your, your video appears on a few other people's uh, uh, feeds and stuff. And it just gets me out in front of more people. And the more people I get in front of, uh, the more hits I get, the more videos I make. So uh, thank you very much everybody that does like and subscribe and watch. Hopefully in the next few weeks we're going to be getting out to some more deep water stuff. And yeah, thanks again and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, lesson learned. I said about 20 minutes ago whether I should uh, head back in. The conditions were safe, we were all right. Guess what, I just got absolutely drowned coming back. As I got around the north side of the island, it is an 
absolute washing machine. I'm going to turn around, I'm going to poke it around and show you guys. Now, we all know because we've heard it a thousand times before, people that watch videos on YouTube, how these GoPro cameras don't do the waves any justice. So I'm going to switch it around for you and show you what it's like. It was six knots coming back as fast as that's as fast as I could go. There was waves everywhere. So just gonna flick you around, take a look at this. Now I don't know how that's coming out, but trust me, when you come out of the harbour, that is absolutely wild out there. The other side of the island where I was protected from the breeze. It was relatively calm. As soon as I came through the Maru, an absolute washing machine. And I, I had a bit of a hyperlapse going and I had to switch it off because um, I thought that the amount of water coming over into the boat would have damaged the camera. It's still working. But just a, just a word of caution there, always stay safe because you know I can handle this boat not a problem but that was pretty sketchy so just be careful out there guys anyway that's a little addition I'm now going to get in and we've got some celebrating to do tonight so uh, all the best guys catch on the next one